Welcome back to the channel. So in the last video, I was just had took the engine out. Uh, why I took the, the headlight loom should clean it up a little bit. Uh, so now I'm going to be working on painting the engine bay and the front arches and getting rid of all the rust at the front. But first, what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be doing some welding uh, on this. Let me see if you can see on here. So what I'm going to be doing is cutting out this metal while it's all rusted uh, and then putting a new plate in and that'll be well that and then I'll be able to seal it and then uh, paint over it. So uh, and then after that I can then go back to cleaning up the engine bay, painting that all, painting it all. So I'm going to go ahead and start welding that up. I got this piece welded up now. Uh, put some seam sealer over there so uh, it's uh, doesn't water doesn't get in the little cracks of it, and then start rusting it out. It's all it's uh, painted on the inside as well, so it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, it's a little bit messy, but it doesn't really matter because this part's not going to be seen. It's going to be there's going to be a plastic plastic liner over it, so that that part should be fine. So I'm just going to wait for it to dry and then I can uh, primer it then and then get ready to paint. But while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to start on the bay. I'm going to grind down some of the rough, flaky rust bits and then uh, wash it down with some uh, soap and stuff. Some soap or something. And then it should then be ready to begin painting. Got everything uh, grinded down, uh, washed as well. You see, there's no rust left here. Uh, so I'm gonna and here as well. So what I'm gonna do? Let me just move this book. What I'm gonna do is uh, prime us the pieces. I've got bare metal. 
and then um, priming this piece as well that I just welded and then probably treat some of the rust bits with the, a rust converter not sure if I'll need to do that but and then uh, so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and primer it some of the bare pieces and then uh, once it dries I'll be able to start putting on the the black paint <laughs> metal pieces now are uh, primed and it's uh, pretty much dry at this point so what I'm gonna do is uh, start painting with the black chassis paint so I'm gonna be doing all the pin here too and then down in the back a bit and then same for that side side here <clears throat> we're gonna have little holes so what I'm gonna do is uh, fill these holes in and uh, fill that with like a, not not all of them just uh, free free here uh, I think there's one oh, that one's fine and then one on that side and one here, I believe. Uh, so I'm just gonna fill them in, just so no water can just spray up from the wheels into the bay and then start rusting it or whatever, or dirtying it up. So I'm gonna go ahead and just grind down it, grind it down, and then weld, weld it.
Okay, I've got the, got everything painted now. All in behind there as well. Uh, and it's looking really nice and clean now. Um, still drying a bit here. Because uh, I have to put a second coat there. Because I uh, had to primer a bit. Or because I welded them uh, little holes up again. So I had to paint it again. But yeah, let me see. Get a better look. It's a lot cleaner than it was anyway. And can't really tell unless I take it outside, but I can't. Because there's no wheels on yet. So, while well, I'm waiting for all this to... Well... Uh, next I'll probably be doing the uh, clean. At some point I'll be cleaning up uh, all the rubber hosings and stuff like that. But I'm just going to wait for this to all dry. So I'm going to be working on the engine. <coughs> uh, so what I'm going to be doing is going to be lifting it up and then taking everything off. Just so it's just all bare. So like alternator, all the pipes. Uh, probably split the transmission, the gearbox from the engine itself. And I'll be able to put it on the, the stand and I'll be able to move this out of the way so then I have a bit more space. You can see there's not much space in the garage, so get as much space as I can. So yeah, I'm going to lift this up and start dismantling it all. Because, I don't know if you knew, but it was smoking, so it was burning a lot of oil. And I think it's the valve stem seals, but I'm not sure, so uh, I'm just going to strip it. Strip all the pieces off. And then I'll be able to replace the valve stem seals. And then if it's not that, it's most likely going to be the piston rings or... Yeah. So I'm hoping it's the valve stem seals. Because that's a cheaper option. If it's not, then I'll just have to get some... Figure out why it's leaking still. got the engine all up on the engine stand now just had to take out the transmission bolts uh, starter and a few other pipes and whatever and I'm just uh, got some uh, long enough bolts that will fit into the where the original transmission bolts go and then they just uh, line up there and then now it's just sitting nicely so what I'm going to be doing now is, uh, well you can see, there's a lot of oil everywhere. So I'm just going to degrease it all, get rid of all the oil so it's nice to work with.
just got rid of all the oil doesn't have to be really really clean still gotta take this uh, cover off to clean up but I can't take it off till I take this uh, top cover off the rocker cover uh, but I didn't want to take it off because that was cleaning the, the base so that's all I'm going to be doing in this video uh, Next video I'll probably be putting the valve, new valve stem seals in, taking the head off, cleaning the some other pieces, the gearbox, transmission, cleaning that up, and a few other pieces, and then I can then probably start putting it, the engine back into the engine bay. So that's all I'm going to be doing. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.